Good morning, everyone. Good morning, good morning, everyone. How are we today? We bless the name of the Lord for our life, for everything that He's doing. Thank you, Jesus, for giving us another grace to be awake this morning. My Lord, my God, we bless your holy Lord, for you never change, O oh Lord. You are the God of yesterday, you are the God of today, and you are also the God of forever. You reign, O oh Lord, over every situation. You reign, Father, over that sickness. You reign over that man, over that problem. There is no power that is greater than your power, Lord. Jesus, we exalt you this morning. My Lord, my God, Father, Lord Jesus, guide and protect us today, O Lord. As we are going into your world, Father, Speak to us, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Have your way as we bind all the plans of the enemy against us this morning. We take authority over them and we cancel all of them in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, have your way. Make a way for us, Lord, where there seems to be no way. Jesus. Touch that man, touch that woman that are broken hearted right now. Bring them back to the original position in the might of Jesus. Do I way make our Lord Jesus make a way for us today? We thank you, Father, as we soak everywhere in your blood right now. I soak every soul that are going to join us today. Father, we soak them in your blood, in the mighty name of Jesus. Wherever our loved one is, Lord, our children, Jesus, we soak them in your blood, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your blood continue to protect. Let your blood continue to guide us, O oh Lord. Let your blood continue to make provision to defend us, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Bless you, Holy Spirit. For in Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed. Amen. Let us sing um, him 881. Lord, I lift your name on high. One to go. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I love to sing your praises. I'm so glad you are in my life. I'm so glad you came to save us. You came from heaven to end to show the way. From the earth to the cross, my death to pay. From the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I love to sing your praises. I'm so glad you are in my life. I'm so glad you came to save us. You came from heaven to earth to show the way. 
from the earth to the cross. My death to pay from the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky. Lord, I raise your name on high. I came from heaven to earth to show the way from the earth to the cross. My death to pay from the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky. Lord, I lift your name on high. Hallelujah. Let us sing 1003. My Jesse, sorry, my Jesus, my Savior, my Jesus, my Savior. Want to go? My Jesus. My Savior, Lord, there is no like you. All of my days, I want to praise the wonders of your mighty love. My comfort, my shelter. Power of refuge and strength. Let every breath, all that I am, never cease to worship you. Shout to the Lord of the earth, let us sing. Power and majesty, praise to thy King. Mountain bow down at the sea, we rock at the sound of your name. I sing for joy at the heart of your hand. Forever I love you, forever I stand. Nothing compared to the promise I have in you. My Jesus, my Savior, Lord, there is none like you. All of my days, I want to praise thy wonders of your mighty love. My comfort, my shelter, tower of refuge and strength, let every breath all that I am never cease to worship you. Shout to the Lord of the air, let us sing. Power and majesty, praise to the King. Mountain bottom and the sea we were. At the sound of your name, I sing for joy at the work of your hands. Forever I love you, forever I stand. Nothing compared to the promise I have in you. Nothing compared to the promise I have in you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let us also sing 1151. Amazing grace. How sweet the sound. 
want to go. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I was first lost, but now I found was blind. But now I see this great that taught my heart to hear and grace my fears relief. How precious did that grace appear. Our first belief. My chains are gone, I'll be set free. My God, my Savior, are me. And like a flood, His mercies rains. Unending love, amazing grace. The Lord has promised good to me. He's what my hope secures. He will my share and portion. As long as life endures, my chains are gone. I'll be set free. My God, my Savior, I on me. And like a flood, His mercy rains. On ending love, amazing grace. My chains are gone, I'll be set free. My God, my Savior, arrest on me. And like a flood, His mercy rains. Unending love, amazing grace. The earth shall soon dissolve like stone, and sun forbear to shine. But God, who called me here below, Forever mine. My chains are gone. I'll be set free. My God, my Savior, arrest on me. I like a flood, His message read. An ending love, amazing grace. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we bless you one thing, the Lord. I thank you, Father, for the life of everyone that's on the line right now. We just thank you, Father, for waking us up. Every one of us, we bless you, Lord Jesus, because we know you are going to do a great thing of which you have already started. You are going to complete it today. Father, we don't bless you. We worship you, Father. As we are going through your word right now, Jesus, Father, speak to us this morning, O oh Lord. Touch our hearts. Revive us, O oh Lord, and bring us back from our, from every part of us, every part of us that is lost. Father, Lord God, place it back to us, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Bring us back, O oh Lord, from where the enemy have left us, Father Lord Jesus. 
Let every bond be loose right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Let every chain be loose, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let on your unending love continue to guide and protect us in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, let don't let that love depart from us, O oh Lord. Your Holy Spirit, which you have given us to remind us, let you continue to control us and to remind us of all things in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we bless you. In Jesus' mighty name, we worship. Amen, amen, amen. Our brothers and sisters, good morning once again. Uh, in this morning devotion today, we are going to use um, Matthew chapter 3 from verse 1 to, to 12. And the topic is John the Baptist prepare the way. Hallelujah. You read for Ross, please. John the Baptist prepared the way. Matthew chapter 3. <clears throat> Matthew chapter 3. Praise God. Hallelujah. Um, I will read from here, verse one. It said, "Now in those in those days, John the Baptist came preparing in the wilderness. Sorry, came preaching in the wilderness of Judea, saying, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand.' <laughs> Hallelujah! This was the message." And the message still stand for us today. John the Baptist was uh, a man that God also sent to come and prepare the way for our Lord Jesus Christ. Even as I then, nobody before their death, nobody know about uh, this type of message. We, apart from when. People have been running from this kind of message, even when uh, John the Baptist was also preaching it. Noah in the book of uh, uh, from Genesis also preached about it, but nobody believed. And that message is still on today, my brother, my sisters. He said we should repent. All of us should repent that the kingdom of God is at hand. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Hallelujah. He said, this is the, that's verse three. He says, this is the one referred to by Isaiah, the prophet saying, the voice of one cry in the wilderness, make ready the way of the Lord, make his path straight. Hallelujah. So Isaiah first of all spoke about this. Let's all, let us check it in Isaiah chapter 40, verse 3. Isaiah 40, verse 3. Say so we should make it straight. Make the way of the Lord straight. If you think about it, can we really make the way of the Lord straight? Is it not him that is making our way straight? Praise God. Let us see verse 3. He said, a voice is calling. Clear the way for the Lord in the, in the wilderness. Make smooth in the desert a highway for our God. Verse 4. He said, let every valley be lifted up and every mountain and hill be made low and let the rough ground become plain and the rock and sorry and the rugged uh, terrain a broad way a broad valley sorry so it was first of all professor concerning what the John the Baptist is going to do. 
We remember a concern about the, the, the two of them, their beds, Elizabeth and uh, Mary. Elizabeth was called barren, but by the time God opened the womb, that was when he, he, he was pregnant of uh, John the Baptist. And Jesus Christ was also conceived by Mary through the Holy Spirit. So as they were growing, praise God. So before the age of 12, nobody knows what happened between two of them that time. But this very encounter was how, I mean, the Bible now record them, what they did together concerning how uh, John the Baptist prepared the way. He did, John the Baptist, as at then, people, even when, after he had died, many people, when they saw or hear, hear of what Jesus Christ was doing, they were even thinking, is John the Baptist that resurrected. Hallelujah. Can we read, can you read from verse four for us now, please? Now John himself was clothed in common hair with a leather belt around his waist. And his food was locust and a weird honey. Then Jerusalem, all Judea, and all the region around the Judah, Jordan, went out to him, and they were baptized by him in the Jordan, confessing their sins. But when he saw many of the Pharisees and the Sadducees coming to his baptism. He said to them, Drunk of the viper, who warned you to feed from the wrath to come? Therefore, bear fruit worthy of repentance, and don't know thing to say to yourself, we have Abraham as our father. For I say to you, that God is able to raise up the children to Abraham from this stone. Yes. And even now, the ax is led to the root of the tree. Mm. Therefore, every tree which does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Mm. I, indeed, but that is you with water into repentance. But the who is coming after me is Matthew the I, whose sandals I am not worthy to carry. Yes. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. Amen. His wind, wind knowing fan is in his hands. Amen. And he will strongly cleanse out his threshing floor and they gather his wicks into the pan. But he will burn up the chaff with a quashable fire. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you very much. So verse 4, it says, Now John himself had a garment of camel of camel hair and leather bed about his waist. And his food was locust and wild honey. Praise God. He was not eating any half food. We Christians, we shouldn't eat the food that will defy us. That's part that Jesus Christ also make us to understand that it's not the food that we eat that can cause trouble to us, that can defy us, that, will, that can give us trouble, I mean, a problem. There are some food that if we do not eat it the way we're supposed to eat it, it can also cause sickness. Praise God. 
somebody said don't uh, uh, we we should minimize sugar or the way we eat butter or the way we eat uh, every other thing but if we are not careful enough if you if we eat it anyhow we will see that the way our body will look like what will happen to us hallelujah so we have to be very careful of the type of food we also eat and that will blow you up or it can cause sickness too there are some food that you can even eat for a day it can make you to to be using the loo every time so this man was not he was not eating any half food only locust i mean locust and uh, white honey and his garment was coming here praise god so he said then jerusalem was going out to him and all judea and all the district around the around the jordan amen he said, and they were being baptized by him in Jordan River as they confessed their sins. Amen. That was the river he was using. Many people, when they go to Israel today, they still want to be baptized there. It is good, but the baptism we need to do, the cleansing that we need to do, not that when you have baptized, you all every Christian need to be baptized. But when some people have already been baptized, but if they are able to go to the Jordan River, I mean go to Israel, they will say, Oh, this is where Jesus Christ baptized. I want to be baptized the second time. Praise God. I didn't see where Jesus Christ baptized the second time in the Bible. I haven't seen that. So we need, instead of that, we have to cleanse in our heart. Our heart is what really matters when we have already done the first one. We cleanse in our heart, we ask for that forgiveness. We, I mean, ask God to cleanse in us up. Amen. Verse seven, we say, but when he saw many of the Pharisees and the Sadducees coming, to, coming for, him, for baptism, he said to them, you brought of vipers, who want you of, I mean, who want you to flee from the wrath to come? Hallelujah. He noticed the type of people they are. He noticed the wickedness that they are doing, these uh, Pharisees and the Sadducees. They did not believe in God. They did not believe in, sorry, they believe in God, but they did not believe in Christ the Jews. Amen. So he said, who warned them? He was even calling their name. Who warned them of the wrath to come? For them to come for baptism. Hallelujah. Then verse 8, he said, therefore, bring forth, bring forth fruit in keeping with repentance. Say, therefore, bring forth fruit in keeping with repentance. And do not and do not suppose that you can say to yourself, We have Abraham for our fathers. For I say to you that God is able to God is able from this stone to raise up children for Abraham, hallelujah. Why he was saying that, he was still accusing them of what they are doing. That God, if you, if you don't want to believe, God is able to raise believers. Say, so if we refuse to praise him, if we refuse to praise God, God can look at the trees, look at the water, look at, God can raise up stone to praise him. It's not too difficult for him, but you should be, if you you should still believe in the old doctrine and say this is how we have been doing it. No, I cannot serve God. So we say uh, the Bible or the type of God we are serving is a white man, a white man's uh, 
God. No, my brother and my sister. God is God for everybody. Jesus Christ died for everybody. He died for us to for us to come out from those sins, for us to come out from that unbelief. That is why he, he died for us. Amen. Verse 10. He said, For the earth is already lay at the root of the tree. This is a very hard one. Every tree, therefore, that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Amen. Every tree that is not, that is not, I mean, that cannot bring out good fruit, bearing good fruit, say, will be cut down. In this area, my brother, my sister, you have to search what does God have, really want me to do in his house? Why did God create me? Why am I existing? It's not only for us to pursue our career. There are many things that make God to create us. And the first one is to worship him, to serve him, to do his will, to obey his commandment. Amen. He said, as for me, I baptize you with, with water for repentance. But he who is coming after me is mightier than I. And I am not fit to remove his sanders. He will baptize you with the Holy Ghost and fire. Hallelujah. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. He's talking of Jesus Christ. His own is just to dip people inside the water for repentance, for them to change. But he said, the one that is going to baptize us, that one guy that is going to baptize them as I them with uh, Holy Ghost and fire, he says it's smarter than him. One thing we also have to learn from here, um, John the Baptist did not, he also humbled himself. Like some people today, maybe pastors or whoever it may be, it can also happen in our uh, secular job. When you have a, uh, opportunity to be where God created you to be, then proud will not enter. The man, the man was not pr proud. John the Baptist was not also a proud man, but he said what he had to say. He said the truth. Praise God. He said he is not worthy to unloose the, the, the sandals of our Lord Jesus Christ. Even if we read it down, when Jesus Christ came for baptism, he refused. There was a some kind of argument. He said, no, I'm not. You are to baptize me. I'm not the one to baptize you. But Jesus Christ said, for the, for the prophecy to be fulfilled, you have to do this. Praise God. So we are not going too much uh, deep into the baptism. But as we are going out to start our, going to our new place, all these things will be taken care of. For us to know how are we supposed to baptize, which type of baptism that we that I mean do we need? Baptism by immersion, that is the real baptism, my brother, my sister. If you haven't done that, if it is a sprinkle of water, you have to make an arrangement of how you can do that. Praise God. So he said himself is not worthy to lose it, to lose the sanders. Verse 12, he said, and his uh, winner's uh, fox is, is, on the, is on his hand, and he will thoroughly clean his treasures floor, and he will gather his wind into the bound. But 
he will burn he will burn up the chaff with unquenchable fire hallelujah we can also read that in in matthew chapter uh, sorry mark chapter 13 verse 30 it's talking of how jesus christ even jesus christ said anyone we should he said they should allow the wheat and the tear to 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 grow together at the end at the end of everything that he is going to separate them that is the good and the bad that is unbeliever and the believers even there are some believers that need from this time forth if the life is still there we need to change and make our way straight with god we have to repent from whatever thing we are doing the ways of mouth alone can save life the ways of mouth alone can make the next person hearing you to say oh this person this is how he is or this is how she is my brothers and sisters john the baptist came to prepare the way for jesus christ and the way he prepared that is what we are also still following today jesus christ came to clear off everything to remind us of everything to 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 teach us everything that john the baptist was not able to teach us hallelujah the way we have to follow christ is not the way even our father follow christ like myself i lost my i mean my dad passed on when i was even before five so i don't even know what he was practicing but i later when i grew up i heard it now our children are seeing us we should try to to enable, I mean, to bring them in. We should try to bring them to the boat that we are in, in serving Christ. That uh, with, the, I mean, without Christ, is crisis, and that crisis will not be ours in Jesus' name. Hallelujah! So we have to repent, as John the Baptist said, we have to repent. We have to humble ourselves. We have, don't have to be like the Sadducees and the and the Pharisees. Hallelujah. There are many Pharisees and the Sadducees today. There are some that is some people among the I mean among we, even among the family. They know that they they say uh, there is God. But for us for them to accept it because of greediness or because of what they want to eat or the type of life they want to live you don't want to accept it but we should all repent from all our sins and god will bless us in jesus name let us pray to thank god for god has make us to understand or have prepare the way for us to follow. Jesus Christ make us to understand everything. He gave us this type of a world in order for, for, for him to prepare us. He did not just leave us. He teach those that also taught us that we are reading about today. So let us pray and say, Lord, I just thank you for your word. Let's continue to pray. Father, Lord Jesus, my Lord, my God, I thank you, Father, for today, O oh Lord. I thank you for your word. I thank you for everything, O oh Lord. I thank you, Father, because yourself also prepared with the way for us, O oh Lord. With this word, as we have heard it, we will not be able, I mean, we will not be consumed by the devil. Father, we thank you. We bless you, Father. We worship you, Holy Spirit. We thank you, Jesus for all that you have been doing and what you did for us. Father, we just worship you. We thank you, Father, for your word upon our life, O Lord. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We are still going to pray and say, Lord, Father, cleanse in my heart today. We need our baptism. We need our cleansing. If we have done the first one, we need, there are some people that have even done three baptism, but still, they are still not straight with God. They are still not obeying God. They are still not following his commandment. Let us now pray and say, Lord, cleanse in my heart, Lord. Deliver me from everything that the enemy wants to use to consume me. Let us now continue to pray. Father, Lord Jesus, my Lord, my God, deliver me today, O oh Lord. Lord Jesus, deliver me, Father, from everything, O oh Lord, anything at all that the enemy has placed on my way to destroy me. Lord Jesus, deliver me, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. I cannot do it without you, Lord Jesus. You are the one, as I am struggling to do it your way, Father, Lord, God, Holy Spirit, I need your support. Ask God now, ask Jesus to support you in everything that you are doing. The Bible says we are moving in a narrow way. When the road is tight, when the road is slippery, the time of snow in, 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 in uh, some advanced country and the time of uh, summer is not the same. The way we walk during snow is not the same time. I mean, sorry, not the same system we walk during summer. Ask God to make, I mean, to make you to be strong, even when it is summer, summer, and even when it is it is a, a, a snow or winter. That winter can sneak in, I mean, simplify your, I mean, the narrow road that you are passing. We walk very gently in that very winter season. Continue to pray right now. Say, as you are walking very, I mean, uh, slowly in this very race, that God should, God Almighty should lay his hand upon you. When you are going astray, that God should bring you back. Let us now continue to pray. My Lord, my God, Father, Lord Jesus, I invite you into my boat today, O oh Lord. Lord Jesus, don't let me sink, O oh Lord, in this very race that we are right now. Father, don't let us sink in Global Light Apostolic Ministries, in our home, O oh Lord. My wife, my children, Father, Lord Jesus, pray, for your, that, pray that prayer for your husband. Pray for your wife. Pray for your husband. Pray for the children. That God shouldn't let you sing. He should continue to uphold us. He should continue to gather us. He should continue to make us to be strong. Let us now pray. Lord Jesus, make us to be strong, O oh Lord, according to your way. In the mighty name of Jesus. According to the way you have designed me to be, Father. Make me to be in that very mode, O oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we bless you. Jesus, we thank you. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. According to the topic of today, say, uh, John the Baptist, prepare the way. Let us now pray and say, Lord Jesus, connect me with those, O oh Lord, in our physical life, with those that will prepare my way, O oh Lord. That is those that will help you in life. Either you are a minister, either you are a, a husband, or you are a wife. You need somebody. Or even if you are single, you need somebody that, can advertise, that is going to advertise you. John the Baptist advertised Jesus. So let us now continue to pray and say, Lord Jesus, I connect me with those that will advertise me, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. With those that will advertise the work of my hand, in the mighty name of Jesus. With those that will advertise global light apostolic ministries. Father, connect us, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, connect us, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. With everyone, Lord, that you are going to use to advertise us, O oh Lord. Father, connect that man, connect that woman, connect our children, O oh Lord. Connect everyone under the sound of my voice now to those that you want to use to lift them up in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, for those from India, for those from Pakistan, for those that are listening right now from, from Jamaica, O oh Lord Jesus, even those in Europe, Father, connect all of us, O oh Lord, to our divine helper in the mighty name of Jesus. Those that you want to use to make a way for us, where yeah, there seems to be no way. Father, advertise, connect us, O oh Lord, to those that want to advertise us in the mighty name of Jesus. O oh Lord God, connect us, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. We bless you, Father. We worship you, Lord. We give you thanks. We give you adoration. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We are also going to pray. Uh, uh, it said in verse 2, it said, repent. 
for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. This is a very, it, it, the bell has been ringing right from the time I know us, right from the time I started understanding this. Even that time, it was not too pronounced like this. It was not too open. It was not too, uh, not too, I mean, many people did not understand it then. But now we are understanding it. Let us pray, my brother, my sister. I say, Lord, let your kingdom come into my house and ask, I mean, and let that repentance continue to happen in my home, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord God, let your kingdom come into our home, oh Lord. Let your kingdom come into this nation. Let your kingdom come into global life apostolic ministries. Let your kingdom come into the life of our children, in the mighty name of Jesus. In the life of that man, of that woman, let your kingdom come, oh Lord. Into the life of those that are sick right now, Jesus, let your kingdom come so that they will be made whole in the mighty name of Jesus, so that they will be healed in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, let your kingdom come in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord God, let your kingdom come in the mighty name of Jesus. We bless you, Father. We worship you, Lord. We thank you, Jesus, because you have done it. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We are going to pray. Let us pray concerning our dream. The, let us pray concerning every one that have had a dream and you are not remembering it. Let us pray for anyone, whatever the enemy are using to eat up our dream. Let us now command those demons to die out from us in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, I cancel today, O oh Lord, and I destroy whatever <clears throat> demon that the enemy have been sending to us to eat up our dream, O oh Lord, for us not to remember. For that man, for that woman not to remember, because dream is very important in our life. Lord Jesus, Father, Lord, Holy Spirit, I ask for your power now to destroy that very demon that is eating up our dream for us not to remember in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Lord God, we bind those demons right now, wherever they may be. I cancel it, Lord. Their oppression in our life, we bind them in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, take control. Lord Jesus, have your way. In the mighty name of Jesus, we bless you, Father, because you have done it. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. We are also going to pray. Let us pray for children, because children are the children are very important because they are the leaders of tomorrow. Let us now pray and say, Lord Jesus, all our children, whether yours or your neighbors, or even the children in the whole world, let us open our mouth to pray for them. I say, Lord, strengthen our children, oh Lord, because what they are seeing, either in the, uh, in, uh, on their phone or TV or anything, what they are even hearing can even distract them not to not to follow Christ. Continue to pray right now and say, Lord, strengthen our children, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, my Lord, my God, strengthen them, Father, and bring them back to your, to yourself. Let them remember especially those that have heard the word before, the word of God, the word of Christ. Let them remember in the mighty name of Jesus uh, so that they will be able to come back to Christ in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your word, O oh Lord, Holy Spirit, let it continue co to, convince, to convince them in the mighty name of Jesus. O oh Lord God, Father Lord Jesus, let that word be remained by, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord, Holy Spirit, let your word continue to be in the life of our children wherever they may be, in the mighty name of Jesus. All the children in the whole world, Father, Lord God, I commit them into your able hand, in the mighty name of Jesus. Have your way, Father. Take us to control. For in Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed. Amen. The verse 11, uh, let me just read it again. It says, for me, I baptize you with, with water for repentance. But he who, but he, who is coming after me is mightier than I, and I am not fit to remove his sandals. He will baptize you with Holy Spirit and fire. We need that fire in our life today, my brother, my sister, because fire, you cannot catch it. When that fire is in you, nothing can, nothing can happen to you. Before they come to you, they have already born down. Let us now continue to pray and say, Lord, Holy Spirit, Father Lord Jesus, don't take the Holy Spirit from us, oh Lord, and we need your fire in our life, 
in the mighty name of Jesus. I need your fire, O oh Lord. And I, my, I need your fire around me, O oh Lord. I need your fire in my house. Let your fire continue to burn. What all those things that you are not planted in our life, Father Lord Jesus, let your fire continue to burn them away in the mighty name of Jesus. Baptize us with that Holy Ghost fire today, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Baptize us with Holy Spirit and fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your fire, O oh Lord, burn every contrary thing that the enemy has placed on our way in the mighty name of Jesus. Every evil garment that the enemy has put on us, let your fire burn them away in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's quickly pray for those that are looking for the fruit of the womb. Father Lord Jesus, O oh Lord God, Father Holy Spirit, I pray for everyone right now that are looking for the fruit of the womb. Father Lord Jesus, bless them, O oh Lord. Open their womb, open the, uh, let the life of that man, let his life be fetter in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, open the womb of that, that very woman, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Any rope they have used to tie it, I command it to lose right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Continue to soak yourself in the blood of Jesus. Oh Lord God, we soak everyone in the blood of Jesus. I'm in the present, I'm in the potent God. Those that are sick, oh Lord, I pray for them right now. My Lord, my God, make them to be strong, oh Lord. Connect every vein that have been disconnected out from there today in the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord, wake them up, oh Lord. Make them to be fit again, either a man or a woman. What type of sickness they may, be, they may have or they may be sick of, oh Lord. Jesus, Father Lord, touch their life right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Have your way, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Physical sickness, spiritual sickness. Father, heal us all, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. As we are struggling, we are, as we are striving to serve you, oh Lord, to do your will. Father, make us to be strong in you, in the mighty name of Jesus. Make every man and woman to be strong in you, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. We bless you, Lord. We worship you, Father. I thank you, Holy Spirit, as I soak everyone in the blood of Jesus. We bless you because you have done it. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen, 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 and amen. God bless us all in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus.